The triple spiral is a beautiful symbol strongly associated with Celtic civilizations. But the spiral actually predates the arrival of the Celts into Europe by thousands of years. It is a truly ancient symbol that was used by Stone Age people and carved into rocks in Ireland over 5,000 years ago. The wild goose triple spiral is modelled on a carving that is older than Stonehenge, older even than the pyramids. Over 5,000 years ago, Ireland's first farmers built this extraordinary passage tomb by the banks of the River Boyne. And the beautifully carved stone at the entrance to the tomb displays the triple spiral in pride of place. Scholars have long considered the meaning of the triple spiral. Does it relate to the sun, the stars, the cycle of the seasons, or perhaps the eternal flow of life and death? Well, I think there has to be another meaning um, than just decoration. Quite a lot of work has gone, has gone into these. And while we can't know exactly, of course, the minds of the people or indeed what these meant, you have to think that it's something more important than decoration as such. Newgrange is a monument of huge significance. It was a burial place, but it also seems to have been much more than that. Newgrange comes at the end of maybe a thousand years of development of what we call passage tombs, because basically there's a passage which leads into a chamber, and they were burial places. But also they're, they're much more than that, they're important sites that were obviously built for important people and by important people who could command manpower, maybe woman power, but probably manpower, to make such big structures. Deep inside the tomb on the back wall of the burial chamber, there is another triple spiral. A key element of the magic and mystery of Newgrange is the roof box positioned over the entrance. 5,000 years ago, the structure was designed to catch the first rays of light from the rising sun on the shortest day of the year. Light going in through the door as such wouldn't get very far, it would only get a fraction of the way in. So the light is actually trapped much higher up above the floor level and then it gets into the tomb and reaches right into the back chamber, which is also interesting because it bounces off the back wall of the very end chamber and lights up um, the spirals and they're lit by the reflected light of a hugely sophisticated piece of engineering. We can never know the beliefs of the people who built Newgrange, but the effort, skill and time involved in its construction tells us just how important it was to the people who made it. With the materials at Newgrange in particular, of course, it's really interesting because you've got the main structural stones and were probably brought down the coast a bit and then along the river would have been easier to move them in that way, it's believed, by a sort of raft system. Standing 11 metres tall with a diameter of 80 metres, it contains a staggering 200,000 tonnes of material. And then the other interesting thing, of course, is that the outside surface at the front uh, is a mixture, a combination of white quartz. So you've got the sort of surface covering of it coming from 50, 60 kilometres south or 50, 60 kilometres north. But it's the spiral, it's not really what jumps at you. And also it's interesting, it should be mentioned that um, the spiral doesn't occur in any of the what we'd say continental sites at all, except one. And your average, down to standard, megalithic tombs in Spain, Portugal and Brittany don't have spirals, they'll have other things, zigzags, yeah, the sort of sun patterns, but not spirals. It seems to be part of what's developed, in, particularly in Ireland. The wild goose triple spiral was carved in clay over 40 years ago by Kathleen Smith. The piece was cast in bronze by Wild Goose co-founder Brian Scott McCarthy in their Kinsale Studios in West Cork. Forty years later, Wild Goose Studio is still casting bronzes in Kinsale and the triple spiral is sold all around the world. <laughs>